Tankerton, the Hammer Pokemon, one of the most beloved Pokemon out of Generation 9 and my absolute favorite Pokemon ever. Today I'm going to be talking about the history of Tankerton, even though it's only been a year since its release, from the leaks to competitive. It was around the 15th of July in 2022 where it was revealed by I think Kakam, a popular leaker to have a Hammer Pokemon as we. Then over the days it was revealed to have a typing of Fairy and through some hints by Kaka and Ko the leakers, it was said that the Hammer Loli as they called it was one of the aces of the Elite Four which made people believe the other type was Steel. It was also for some reason the most feminine Pokemon between all the new Pokemon. Then in August a cropped image was leaked, after that we got nothing. Until the home ROM was leaked a week before the game's release. Then we finally got a look at it. Tinkerton at first glance seems to be based on the running trope of small girls with big weapons, more popularly hammers. This trope is considered amusing by many, giving the character an automatic charm and personality. It might also be inspired by duendes, gnomes or dwarfs who are often associated with smithing and making use of iron tools. Having a hammer weighing over 100 kgs, it hurls rocks at covenites which also is what the duendes used to do, hurling rocks at people and stealing which is also what Tinkerton does, steals whatever he wants. How else do you think that hammer is made? This is also why the flying taxis in Paldea don't have Coven. It suffered the same fate as a child, it has returned the favor you know. With the release of Tinkerton, it instantly became a fan favorite, winning a Japanese poll held to find the most popular Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. But on True Green 7's Pokemon Awards, it ended up winning the Pokemon Meme of the Year, that's fine, but it lost the Pokemon of the Year to Claude Sire, the same guy who she beat in Japan. I feel better at having put Claude on my team. This is like treason to me, and I'll cope and we're not listening to the rants. It was also featured in the first Paladin Wins episode, and everyone went crazy over it, not even looking at the actual episode. Now with the typing like fairy steel, a lot was expected from it, seeing the type combinations passed. And with a move like Diggert and Hammer, with 160 base power and 100% accuracy, with a drawback just being that it can't be used consecutively. It was looking like a great Pokemon, until you see the stats. It has an attack stat lower than a fucking small bird. Well, more than one bird actually. It can't even beat its arch nemesis. So how good was Tinkerton actually? A smoke on singles that had no chance in OU, with other way better steel types like Goldengo and Kim Gambit. It wasn't going to get much use seeing how the meta was now beginning to revolve around the treasures of ruin, not counting Ocean, which only one of them Tinkerton could beat and gets walled by Tinglu and decimated by Chiu. Facing a 2.4 usage rate in the first month of release, causing it to drop to UU where it instantly became a star. Its utility stat provided much needed shutdowns for Pokemon like Quagsire and Gastrodon with Onko. It knocked off important items like Eviolite and HTB from Bishop and Talonflame. It also sets up Stealth Rocks, which is always a plus. Thunder Wave cripples many threats and even though Terra is usually not preferred, it can shut down unsuspecting mons like Slitherwing and Lucario, while spin blocking Tatsugiri. It enjoyed top tier presence throughout the year, but then it dropped and dropped and dropped. This was mainly because due to Pokemon like uh, Scizor and Iron Treads dropping from OU, which were way better steel types. Even though it survived Scizor, it didn't survive attackers like Hisoyan Arcanine and Skeledurge. Then Ursaluna dropped and countered at heart, with no way to status of effectively on co or knock off due to flame orb and product. The next one, the infamous Heatran UU dropped happened, which threw Trinkerton out of the tier entirely. Now it comfortably sits as the fifth most used Pokemon in RU, using the same utility set as before. And amidst all this madness, there was a team that went to ladder number one on showdown. In VGC, however, Tinkerton is primarily a bulky attacker with its fake out as utility. It does well against Murkrow teams which shut down Dondozo and Satsugiri, which Tinkerton is a great partner of. More Breaker helps to fake out Armor Tail, Fairy Giraffe, and Gigaton Hammer Mavic Q. Knockoff can successfully cripple threats like Dondozo and Golden, 
Own Tempo is also a good option against intermediate users like Arcanine and Gyarados. Though Tinker 10 has seen less usage in VGC, especially now due to the current X expansion. But still, here are some which were used in tournaments, only regionals. Zach Amersi in Timothy, Matthew Pencil in Orlando, Cali Peacock in Vancouver, Wolf Click in Charlotte, Vijay Sood and Kyle Timbrook in Fort Wayne, Shane Byer in Milwaukee, Vijay Sood in Fresno, Javier Senorena, Jamie Kean in Liverpool, and Tim Unay in Bosham. And home killed any chance of it being used at worst. Its pre evolutions have a pretty fair story for them as well. Tinkertov is a great Pokemon both in PU and ZU, filling the standard EVO Light role. Tinkerton's recent buff of getting knockoff at level 5 has also made it be used in LC recently. If I were to fix Tinkerton, I would give it a better attack stat first, give it Smackdown because it makes sense, and maybe give it Super Cell Slam to let it have some chance at Covenant. It also got into Unite as an NPC, and I don't really know anything about TCGs, only that it has four cards currently with one EX and from what I've seen it's at least usable. Even with the discrepancies that it has in competitive, I still love Tinkerton. It was the first ever Mon I got to level 100. Before Tinkerton, I never really had a particular favorite Pokemon. Sometimes it would be Venus or sometimes Snorlax. I was generally opposed to the idea of having a single favorite thing and still do. But seeing Tinkerton, I can absolutely say that if I were to pick a favorite, it would have to be her. Also, I'm writing, recording and editing the same day it has to go on 31st December. If it's late, I'll make up some excuse of how it was still technically December in some time zones.